was a kid I've always loved cooking, sewing, making things, creating stuff, experimenting and inventing things. So when it came to what would I do for a career, I had one teacher at school who said, write down what you love and write down what you're good at. I was really good at science. So I went to the library, A to Z book of careers. I only had to get to D and found there was this job called dietitian. And essentially it said, must be good at a science and love food. So there it was for me in one sentence, I'm gonna be a dietitian. Well, from the research I did while I was a pediatric dietitian, I saw the difference it made to the lives of families and their children. It was so powerful, I realised I could do this on a much bigger scale and make a difference not only in Australia, but around the world as well. These days, the average supermarket has 10 to 15,000 food items. The trolleys are like monster trucks and people are so confused about which foods are healthy. It's those changes in the foods we put in our trolley that have led to the high prevalence of obesity. As nutrition and dietetic researchers, there's a lot that we know about food and how it can be as powerful as medications in terms of improving people's health. And yet it's frustrating that people don't know this information. As researchers, it's really important that the results don't stay tied up in a journal article, but get out to people so they can use them and can make a difference immediately. My approach is to use the power of the media and harness technology to get the message out on a big scale. So that can be from something as small as having information that can be downloaded off one of our websites, to working with major production companies to make sure good quality information is embedded in television programs, through to working with gaming technology people to create games and fun scenarios and fun play environments for children that actually help them eat better as well. In the research world, we know that people who have a high diet quality score have lower overall death rates and are more healthy. They're less likely to get type 2 diabetes, they're less likely to die of heart disease and less likely to develop some specific cancers as well. Yet, that information is not easy to access. So some of the research work that my team has done has been to create a healthy eating quiz that will actually give you a diet quality score. So the healthy eating quiz translates all that science into a five minute fill in all the little boxes quiz and then it sends you back your score and some advice on how to actually improve your score so that you do eat better, feel better and live a much healthier lifestyle. Newcastle and the University of Newcastle has been the perfect environment for me. It was really exciting to get the Era 5 rank and to finally be recognised for the quality work that we do off the Richter scale in terms of performance for dietetic research. We've got the biggest and the best group of dietitian researchers, not only in Australia, but in the world. What I love most about being here right now is that I know there's no other place in the world where I could have a quality lifestyle, an amazing research team, and be achieving beyond my wildest dreams.